In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to crop a video on a Chromebook. There are a lot of videos out there about different editing apps you can get on your Chromebook to do all kinds of fancy video edits. But if you're not trying to be a video editor and you just occasionally have a video on your Chromebook that you want to crop to cut something out of the edge or change the shape of it or something, Timmy has a really simple, easy solution where you can just simply crop the video on your Chromebook. All you need to do is find the video in the Files app. So, it might be in the Downloads folder or Camera or Google Drive, anywhere you can find it in the Files app. You just need to find it. Here's Timmy's video here. And now, before you actually crop it, after you've cropped the video, there will be no way to undo the crop. There's no option to save a new cropped version and keep the uncropped version, and there's no back button or anything you can click. So, before you start cropping your video, Tim would highly recommend you make a copy of the video first, so that you still have the original version, in case you ever want that. So, to do that, we'll just single click on the video here, so that it's all highlighted like that. If you double click on it, it'll open, so just click the click button once. And now, on your keyboard, press a keyboard shortcut by holding down the control key and pressing the letter C. And now, the video is copied. So now, all you need to do is hold control and press the letter V. And now, your video will be copied. So now, you'll have two of the same video. So. If we look at the Files app, we've got this original video, and we have a copy that's exactly the same. So, you might want to rename one of them so that you know which one is going to be the original and which one's going to be cropped. But in this case, Timmy's just going to leave it as that, with a 1 on the end, which is what it'll do automatically. And now, once you've made a copy of your video, you're ready to actually crop it. So, to do that, you just need to double click on the video you want to crop. Timmy's going to go with the copied version, but you could crop the original if you want, it really doesn't make a difference. So Timmy will double click on this one. And now the video will open up, just like it normally would when you want to watch it. And you could click the play button here and watch it if you wanted to. But, to crop your video, you'll just need to come up to this button in the top right hand corner that says edit in photos and click on that and now it will open up your video in the Google Photos app where there's quite a few different editing options and it doesn't matter if you've never used the Google Photos app before or even if you don't think you've ever installed it before it comes installed automatically on every Chromebook and when you click that button It'll just open the photo up in Google Photos. And now, once the photo is opened up in Google Photos like this, if it's a really long, really high resolution video, it can take a little bit longer for it to open up, but that's fine, you just wait a little bit for that. And now, you're ready to crop your video in the Google Photos app. So, you'll need to be on the cropping section, but it should usually automatically have you on the cropping section here. If you're not, and you're in here or something, just click on the cropping section so that you're ready to crop your video. And now, you can basically just go ahead and crop it. It works really just like cropping a photo now. So, you can click on any of the corners and drag it in. If you wanted to crop it something like that, and you can click and drag around to position it however you want. So, if you wanted to do a basic crop like that, to get the edges out and zoom it in or something, you can do that. Or, you can use some of the preset shapes and sizes. Because, if you're planning to upload the video to YouTube or TikTok or some other social media platform like that, or a lot of other things, they often expect the video to be a specific shape and size, so that all the videos look the same and fit on the same screens and everything. So, 
If you look down here under Aspect Ratios, we're currently set to free. So that means you can just click and drag any corner and make the video be any shape you want, like we just did here. Or you could click something like square and now it forces the video to be a square. So you can still click and drag the corners and change the size and drag it around to change positioning and everything like that, but it will always make sure the video is a perfect square shape. And it doesn't have to be a square. You could choose original if you want. So that would mean it forces the video to be the same shape as it originally was, but you can still zoom it in to crop out some of the edges if you want. So you could click on this corner and zoom it in like that. And you'll see as you drag, you can't change the shape of it. It forces it to stay this shape, but you can still do something like that and crop out a fair bit of the video while keeping it the same shape as it originally was. Or you can use some of these number presets down here. So 16 by nine is really one of the most common video shapes. It's the shape of this Tech Time with Timmy video you're currently watching. And it's the shape of most videos on YouTube and most TV shows and everything like that because it fits very well on TV and computer screens and a phone screen if you turn it that way. So it's quite a good video shape to use. So you might wanna do that. In this case, this video was already that shape. So original and 16 by nine are basically the same thing here. But if your video was not 16 by nine and you chose that, you could then crop it to be 16 by nine. Or another really common shape these days is nine by 16. And that's basically the same thing, but flipped the other way. So this is what you normally use on a TikTok video or a YouTube short or an Instagram reel or anything like that, because it fits very well on a phone when you're holding it up normally. So if you maybe wanted to crop your video to use it on some sort of social media platform like that, you could crop it like this. And if you started with a really wide video like Timmy did, it can sometimes be a bit hard to fit it all in, but if you drag it around and play with it a bit, it can usually work out quite well. And you can choose any of the other different numbers here if you want to. They don't have many major purposes, but if you just want to lock it to one of them and that works what the best shape for your video, you can do that. And that's pretty much all there is to cropping it. You can choose your size or leave it to free and crop it however you want it to be. Maybe we'll do that. And then once you're happy with your crop and you've cropped it as much as you want, all you really need to do is go ahead and click this save button up here. And it will pop up with this message saying, do you want to replace the original? Because as Timmy said before, once you save this, it will overwrite the original video with this one. So if you didn't make a copy of the video first, the way Timmy did, you will lose your original video unless you have a copy of it stored somewhere else. But as long as you've either made a copy of it or you're okay with cropping your video and you definitely don't want it, you definitely don't want the original version back, you can go ahead and click replace here. And now it will begin saving your cropped video. And this can actually take quite a long time because it basically has to go through your entire video frame by frame and crop each frame to the new shape and size. So if you have a very large, long, high resolution video or something, it could take quite a long time for this to happen, maybe even like 10, 20, 30 minutes. So you can just sit back and wait for that or maybe go and get a cup of coffee or something and come back. But now, once it's finished, however long it takes, you should see your newly cropped video automatically playing here. So, as you can see, this is how we cropped Timmy's video. 
So this is how it looks. So now you can go ahead and close this window here and you're basically done. You've now cropped and saved your video. So if you didn't create a copy of it and you just cropped the original, if you open up the original from the files app now, you will just see the cropped version. Or if you did make a copy of it like Timmy did and you cropped the copy version, you should now still have the original file, which will be completely uncropped. If we open that, there it is completely uncropped. And you should also have your copied video, which will be cropped. So you can open up that and watch that cropped. So now you have a cropped and an uncropped version of your video. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can crop a video on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and to me I'll see you in the next one.